Hi, everyone. Multiple terror attacks around the world last week, like this one in Tunisia, have prompted a nationwide alert for the 4th of July holiday. Now, that has law enforcement right here in Nashville. Well, they're stepping up security for what's expected to be the biggest fireworks show in the country. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is live downtown. And Todd, is Nashville actually mentioned in any of these threats? Oh, well, no, Rory, but there are no specific locations in this alert. But ISIS has called on more lone wolf attacks throughout the month of Ramadan. And this morning, a former CIA director says that this threat really worries him. Here in Nashville, organizers of the largest 4th of July fireworks show in the country say there will be plenty of security on hand, but you play the biggest part of it. When people head downtown this weekend to celebrate their freedom, there will be a lot of eyes making sure that there is not a threat to it. This police department will have literally hundreds of police officers throughout the downtown area on Saturday. That kind of security happens every year, but this year there is even more reason. So these kind of warnings go out routinely, um, but there's nothing routine about this particular one to me. This one really resonates with me. Former CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell said the terror alert issued by the FBI last Friday is a credible threat somewhere. Um, I don't want to tell Americans what to do or what not to do, um, but nor I wouldn't be surprised if we're sitting here a week from today talking about an attack over the weekend in the United States. That's how serious this is. Nashville plans to have the largest fireworks show in the country this year, with more than 300,000 people expected to show up for it. Fourth of July is a pretty big day in this country. Uh, we've always thought of it as a target type date. Organizers of the event say there will be plenty of security around, but the people attending are the most watchful eyes. If you see something, say something. If you're walking down Broadway on Saturday afternoon and you see a cooler at the corner of second and broad with no one around, let a police officer know. We can't let threats or terrorists win. That's kind of that, the whole premise, especially on July 4th. Now, the ATF told us today that it actively tracks and searches for any fireworks or any other explosives that may be reported stolen throughout the region and across the country because in those instances, they do tend to travel. Now, again, there is no specific threat towards Nashville, but it is just a generic threat across the country. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD.